raise your glasses high because Creative Loafing's Craft Cocktail Competition Highball is back for another round of tipsy fun in celebration of CL's annual summer guide issue. Joining me today is marketing and events manager Alexis Chamberlain. Let me set my drink down before I make a huge mess along with Matthew Moscato from Bob Heilman's Beachcomber along with Rally Grace. Guys, welcome to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. And I noticed in the intro this competition is back. Yes. You just had it in January, but we such did. a success. It was so much fun, and all the bartenders had a great time. Everyone that came had a great time, so it was really awesome. Oh, so let's let's yeah. break it down, though. I, I, okay. As I'm learning more about this competition, yes. you've got the categories. You guys are doing it right. Yeah, so it's broken up into four categories. So there's a vodka category, gin, rum, and whiskey. And so four bartenders per category. And the attendees go in and they vote on their favorite cocktail in each category, and then they also vote on it overall. So okay. there's a lot of opportunity to try a lot of really great drinks. And speaking of great drinks, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Matthew right now. Matt, what category are you in? We are in the rum category. So is this the drink that we're going to be able to uh, see tonight in the competition that mm. you're going to be? Sh are you sharing your secrets? Perhaps oh. it is. Perhaps oh. it's not. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you have a good example of what we could expect in tonight's yes. competition. So what are you making for us? Uh, this is actually a Mai Tai uh, a, a, with a little bit of a beachcomber flair to it. I was going to say, you got to have some flair yeah. to it. I can't believe it's going to be another. Sure. And speaking of flair, just to let you know what we had to choose from in beachcomber, we've got a drink menu up here. I'm actually holding oh my gosh. their wine list just to give you an idea. So, Matthew, how hard was it for you to come up with the fact that you decided to do a Mai Tai for this competition? <laughs> Uh, it was easy and hard at the same time. Okay, well, let's let's go ahead and try it. Let's let's see this cocktail and and perhaps the secret that you do offer. <laughs> Tell me to move. What do you need me to do? Uh, you're fine right there. Okay. Uh, first, we have a standard Collins glass, ice of course, plenty of ice, easy to work ice. Okay, and these drinks too. We've already have some that are made up and they do they smell look really good. Yeah. <laughs> we like to use local rum. These are many different. Uh, Companies now are making rum in Florida. They're using real sugar cane. We're going to use the Siesta Key, but there's dark rums, spiced rums. Everything's local with Florida sugar cane. In. And this is the one we'll have at the event. So it's all also local distilleries. Right. Oh, nice. So it's local bartenders using local spirits. Good stuff. Yeah. We also add creme de noyer to this. Uh, it's an almond flavored liqueur. Uh, if you don't have that, use amaretto. Okay. Uh, and then we add a fresh sour mix, which we make from scratch. And I can't give you the recipe. <laughs> uh, we also use Florida orange juice, freshly squeezed. Okay, and fresh pineapple juice as well. Now, Matt, is this the first? Were you in the competition in January? I was not. No. So first time ready for the competition here. Correct. Have correct. you uh, been scouting out against those who are you're competing against? I do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> give it a little shake, and we top it with dark rum, of course. And I saw the dark rum on the top of those that were already complete. Correct. Why why top it off with the dark rum? Uh, well, it, it adds some depth to it with the light and dark rum together. And it's just a nice presentation, too. You know, I think it goes without saying that these these competitions are obviously fun for those in attendance. Yes. Fun for the judges for as sure. well. How fun are they for the bartenders? They're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. We get to meet other people in the, in the, in the spirit uh, world and uh, just kind of bounce different ideas and see what else is out there, so. And no offense to our friend Matt here, I gotta ask you, what are some of the other people that are competing at this competition? Um, some of the other restaurants, we yes. have Franklin Manor, um, Dats is gonna be there again. Um, a lot, they're from all over the Tampa Bay area. So there's places in Dunedin, Tampa Heights, downtown. It's gonna be really fun. Can people still come out or have tickets been sold? What's the information um, about People can buy tickets today until 4 p.m. online and then we'll have some tickets at the door. But we did, we were very close to selling out last year when, by the time we got to the door. So you're gonna wanna get your tickets early. So, and I apologize if you've already said this, the people in attendance, are they the ones that get to vote or do you yes, have a separate? Yes, they get to vote. So they get a ballot, they get to go around, try everything, vote for what they wanna vote for. and. Just have a great time. Okay, well, just so happens that there are four of these <laughs> drinks Whoa, here. This is... has our name written all over it. There's the information on your screen, where it's at, and the website. Looks Cheers really good. Cheers to Cheers. another successful competition, and Thank you. good luck to you, Matthew. Thank we you. appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you for having us. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Very good. Good. <laughs> good stuff. We'll be right back.